Well, welcome to this value med presentation. We're going to show you the uh, five in one cholesterol meter. The branding that we're using for the demonstration is AccuCheck, but this applies to the EcoTest meter that we're selling here in the UK. This is the standard box pack that you will receive once you uh, make an order for the five in one meter. And these are the refill packs of 10 devices that are available. They include lancets and the pipettes required to transfer the blood from your finger into the test strip port. So let's crack open one of these boxes and show you what is received and how to set up the meter. Now the meter box contents includes the digital handheld meter, which is this device here, two control check devices, which can be used for checking the optical function of the meter at any time. They have a two year expiry and they can be used multiple times. They don't have to be used as part of the setup for this meter. They would only be used once it's been cleaned or changed or you want to check the optical function of the meter. So this is the battery port on the rear of the device. Just open that up and you've got some clear instructions on how to insert your AAA batteries for direction in the base of the battery compartment. We're going to do that right now. Four batteries and you'll hear it beep as the last one goes in. Battery cover back on. Now if you have not previously set the meter up, it will usually automatically go into uh, mode for you to set the time and date. But we're going to do that just by pressing the power button, which is the central one of the two, sorry, three meters on the front. Now, this one's actually had time and date previously set, but I'm going to show you how to enter the mode to change that. If you just hold the power button down, it will give you the system memory. And here's the menu you can use. Um, navigate to memory quality control data transfer i'm going to go into the system menu so i'm just going to press that again and it's going to allow me to set the date and time so i'm just going to press the power button again to select that one now it's got a 24 hour clock on you can use the right or left buttons to change the time so i'm going to set this for 10:30 a.m take the minute down by one and then we've got month first and then day. So the month is actually January and the day is the 25th. When you're happy with that, select the year and navigate that up to 23. And when you're happy, you can just press the power button again. Now, obviously that's asking to go through the menu a further time. If you now just leave this meter to power down, it will retain the date, time and calendar settings that you've put into it. The other way of getting out of this menu again is to hold the power button down and navigate down and out of the menu using the back buttons and the exit button. Once you've completed that for the first time then you have completed setting up the meter and when you're ready to run your first test then you will need to have your test devices to hand, which come with a code chip specific to the batch of test strips. This device is inserted into the meter on the side port just here. Let me do that for you now. I'm going to put this code chip into this device. It's a little tricky to get it aligned. And that looks for code reference L0058 for this particular code chip that comes with the test strips. Once you've loaded the code chip into the device, you're now ready to do your first test. When you're ready to start your first test, you need to have washed your hands thoroughly with soap and water and allow them to completely dry. When your hands are completely dry, Take the first test device that you intend to use. There is a front and a back. The three ports on the rear align with three ports on the front of the meter. Insert the test strip into the device. The device meter will prepare and start asking for a sample. Now to use the test properly, it is critical that you get a good lanced sample. We're gonna show you how to use these safety lancets that are supplied with the test strips in packs of 10 and to transfer the blood you use one of these little capillary tubes to take the sample and put it into the testing device. To do a lance 
use the side of your finger, not the flat. Make sure your finger is warm and well perfused. Put the lancing safety device firmly against the side of the finger and push down firmly. The lance will automatically pierce the finger and a small droplet of blood will form. When that occurs, wipe the first droplet away and allow the second droplet to form naturally on the tip of the finger. Allow the droplet to form naturally. Try not to squeeze or massage the finger at all to form this natural droplet. And then take the pipette and apply it to the blood sample. The pipette will naturally fill with sample and it's important that you are patient and allow the pipette to adequately fill right the way to the black line. Keep feeding the blood into the little pipette until the sample reaches the back line just by applying and removing the pipette from the sample of blood as it forms on your finger. When you reach the black line on the pipette, no further blood will be taken up. So take the pipette and vertically feed the sample by squeezing the bulb into the sample well. The meter will now start to analyse the blood sample and this can take anything up to two minutes. So I'm going to stop the video and come back and show you the results when the meter has analysed this blood sample. The key elements of what we have shown you there is to allow that sample for testing to form as naturally as possible without having any massage or squeezing of the fingertip. And this is where a good lance technique is absolutely critical to getting hospital grade results from your cholesterol meter. When the meter has analysed the sample, it will display your five result readings on the LCD screen with the time and date of the test. Let's have a look what this result has demonstrated. My total cholesterol on this sample is 5.05 millimoles per litre, which I'm quite happy with. The HDL is 1.14, could be a little better. My triglycerides are 1.2, which is very good. You want those under 1.37. And my LDL cholesterol, which is the difference between the total and HDL, is coming out at 3.36 millimoles, which isn't bad. So the total cholesterol to HDL ratio is 4.42, which is good. You want that to be under 5 for a low cardiac health risk score. There's lots more information in the Frequently Asked Questions on our website in terms of how to analyse and what you should be aiming for and when and how often to use the total cholesterol and differential meter system we've demonstrated for you. The key element that we want to emphasise to everyone is the lancing technique and the collection of that sample. If you are getting poor sample quality, having to squeeze the finger to obtain sufficient blood, then you really need to look at your lancing technique and make sure that your fingers are really warm and well perfused before you undertake a further test. Thanks for watching. I hope this information has been useful and good luck with getting good results from your cholesterol meter system from us. Thanks for watching.